hi this is cc welcome to my channel if i would never get this video started there's a lot going on today but i'm a reseller on poshmark and today i have another thrift haul to share with you i went to the savannah bins slash goodwill outfit outlet yesterday uh december 5th and i got a lot of items i'll pop the number of items i got up here on the screen but i spent 104 dollars 36 I got three batches. One was a toy batch, one was a coat batch, and the other was just regular clothes. So it was a good time. I stayed there an hour and a half, way longer than I should have, waiting on a shoe rotation that never came. But um, let's get started. Let's do coats first. This is a rabbit fur coat, and it is just a like a beige, and. So the total I paid for the coat batch was $24.50, and I got seven coats. So you'll see, like, my cost of goods on these coats was really low. It's in good condition. It does have some, it's vintage, so it has some light staining on the inside. And then it has a seam rip right here, but you can't, I mean, I guess you can't really see it. So I was on the fence about it because I think fur is pretty much a niche item. But, oh, I was making my nose itch. But I decided to go ahead and get it, so I did. So that's coat number one. Coat number two, if you ever see one of these, pick it up. I had no idea. I just got it because it was J. Crew. But it is the J. Crew. And I thought it was a collab when I saw the label. But it's J. Crew Stadium Cloth. But yeah, these go upwards of $100. It's a special, so I guess the stadium cloth is a special type of wool. But it's well made, it's got side pockets. It's a size 10, it's like in a nice tan. So this was Loft, which Loft historically has been one of my bread and butter brands. I'm a little less uh, hepped up to pick it up nowadays just because it's oversaturated in my closet. I think it's oversaturated on Poshmark, but this is size medium. And I think it's a wool blend, double breasted, kind of, it's a lighter weight jacket, so that's nice. But um, I looked it over a few times and I decided, oh, what the heck, I'll get it. And then this is a longer, heavier coat. It is Calvin Klein size 14 and it's hooded. I love to find a good hooded wool coat. Let me get this right on the hanger so you guys can actually see it. Oh, I have buttoned it wrong, that's why. <laughs> I've got it buttoned one, but you know how you button it. And, they're misaligned. But anyway, it's a gray wool hooded belted winter jacket. So that was definitely not to pass up. All these were in the same bin. So someone must have just been buying new coats and getting rid of maybe all of theirs. This was actually, I'm real selective about what I pick up in children's. This is Old Navy Girls size large. It's a toggle button wool blend it's recycled roll uh, recycled wool blend hooded girls coat size large but i think it's just a really classic profile and look and it's in i mean you know kids don't wear their coats but for a season so it's got a nice plaid there this is a faux sherpa jacket they don't go for much but i couldn't help myself it's size medium the brand is big chill and it's a full length deal but it's like, you know, the 60s sort of hippie vibe. It's all vegan. It has some markings on the front here that I'm going to have to get out. But it's otherwise, it's good to go. The last jacket I got was, it didn't have a tag at all. It has no size. But it is just in beautiful hues of fall. And it's a trench coat. It's well made. It's got this wind flap here. It's belted. But look at those gorgeous, wonderful, beautiful, artsy autumn tones. So I wish I would have found this a little bit earlier in the season. But um, I'm going to say it's definitely vintage. So that was it for the coats. And then I got one. So I don't ever pick up toys. Where did I get? And I was, I was so bored. So I was there. I got there at opening, which was nine. And I think I stayed till one, which was an hour and a half at the tail end of that, that I will never get back. That was a mistake. I should have listened to my intuition and left after I finished the bulk of everything, but I kept on roaming, wanting another shoe rotation that never came out. But I was so bored, I went back to the toy area, which I never, like I sold a Barbie doll the other week that I had found at the regular Goodwill. 
It was the um, it was a Barbie doll modeled after the original Avon lady, and it it was dressed in like Victorian wear, and it just kind of caught my eye, so I picked it up for two dollars, and it sold like a week and a half later. But that's about the experience I have on Poshmark with toys. But because I was looking through the toy bin, I just I could not help myself. Look at this horse. Look at it. It's huge. So it's like, and its knees bend. It does that. So, I don't know, it's Christmas season. I don't know who needs this. I don't know whose kid needs this. I don't know if I need this for decoration. But it's so cute. And the brand was uh, Paradise Kids. Because they ring up toys separately there, this cost me $2.10. So that's included in that grand total, but it was its own batch. Now let's get on to all the main stuff. And there's a lot of it, so... If you just want to listen to me and not watch. So I'll start with these bags I have right here beside me. And I cannot wait to put them in the washing machine. Let's say it. Don't spray it. Because they smell like they've been stored in a garage. I can't smell them right now. But as soon as I pick it up, I'm going to be able to smell it. They're Vera Bradley, so I couldn't resist. And they're duffel bags. And I think Vera Bradley duffel bags sell well. But this it's in good condition other than the smell. But <clears throat> no. And this was the second one. It smells the same way. It's kind of a mint green paisley. And this one's actually a bit larger than the other. But yeah, Vera, Brad Vera Bradley duffel bags do all right. And then when I was wandering in that hour and a half, I'll never get back. This is when I started finding things that I needed to just leave there. But this brand is called Marley Lily, all one word. And she does a lot of monogrammed, like custom order monogram items. This one was not monogrammed. It just has a glitter love heart on the front, but it's like a weekender size bag. Or I could see, and it's got the duffel handles and then the cross body strap. But I could see like somebody using this for dance or like a kid if they're going to a slumber party. So, I mean, I, it's not in demand. NID, not in demand. But I picked it up, so here we are. This was another not in demand item. It's a lunchbox. I picked up a lunchbox at the Goodwill outlet. It's kind of snazzy. It's got the gold hardware. It's very clean. The boho print drew me. I thought, well, I don't know. Somebody will be shopping for clothes and realize they need a lunchbox. But it's clean. It's like, I mean, it's got one mark there. I've got to clean up. But it's like never used. Um, contents by Allegro. Uh, I spent a lot of time in the purse bins because... You just find good stuff there, and I was waiting for them to bring the shoe rack out. I didn't get many purses, but this is a genuine eel skin shoulder bag. It's just a shoulder bag. Like, it's not long enough for crossbody, but it's got that hinge opening. Clean cloth interior. It's labeled as genuine eel skin, and it's sharp. It's in good condition. This braided leather belt, the brand was Lakeshore. So it's got that kind of boho gold medallion and then it's metallic braiding with multiple shades of gold and silver and bronze. It says size medium. I don't know. It's pretty long. Um, Belts do so-so for me. This hat, I only picked it up because it was J. Crew because I have so many hats just like this for sale in my closet. I think I mentioned in my other video that I've been just been picking up hats. They're mixed in with the purse, like the purse bin where you get the accessories, the purses, the wallets. There's always hats in there. Nobody pays attention to them and people need hats sometime. I've had more luck selling wool hats than these straw floppy hats, but I have sold a, at least one, if not a couple. But because it was J. Crew, I know it will get some eyes on it and it's in fine condition. These two hats were together. They are vintage doe skin felt wool caps. There's a burgundy one that has, I get a lot of attention in my closet on my wool hats and I've sold a good handful and I just started picking them up this season. So <clears throat> this one, it's not a fedora really, it's just a cap, but it's in good condition. It's just like a church hat for women. The cream one, not so much great condition, but cuter. I need to work on getting that out. I started scratching it at the bin and it lightened some, so... But same deal, felt wool, church hat. Then this I thought was a wool hat. The label says polyester, but it's like kind of a, it's kind of a Western polyester felt, I guess. This is Columbia, which is just an outdoor, you know, gear. Men's hat, one size. 
it has got black mesh there, tan. This hat I probably shouldn't have picked up. Definitely not in demand. It has a little dirt under the brim that I'm going to have to wash out to make it look better. But it's pink straw. So, I mean, maybe summer church, summer cruise, summer something. This bag, these bags take a while to sell, but they do sell. Um, Antonio Milani. But this bag is sharp. So it's got, it's black leather. It's got a braided strap. It's got kind of... I don't know, antique or regal looking hardware. And it's got the, that's not braided, woven. It's got a woven surface. It's like a drawstring shoulder bag. It's got a little weight to it as well. Then I got my uh, Okabee, my mandatory pair of Okabee flip flops. I got these in black last time I was at the Savannah Bins. These are turquoise. Size medium large. I've sold this exact bag before. It's just a Tory Birch dust bag for a handbag. I think I got about, I don't know, 10 or 12 for it. But I was just sitting there. When I find little bags like that, I usually pick them up and stuff them with the stuff I found. This is a not in another NID item. <laughs> it is vegan and it's like a thick vegan leather. But it's really functional. So it's got this kind of strap with I don't know if that's a southwestern style print but that's adjustable so you can put it on like that for traveling and then it's got it's got paisley and then it pulls down it's got a little card pocket it zips open it's totally new with, and you can alternate it out with this vegan strap that's got a pocket on the back it's got different hooks um it's actually really it's a good thick material this would be great for travel and it's got like a striped interior. So hopefully someone will pick that up. I mean, I'll probably post it for 20 because it's in new without tag condition. And for vegan, it's really made well. This is sack roots. These purses do well. I've sold their purses and wallets before. It's just a little bag. This is as long as it gets. So I guess it can go. Yeah, it can go crossbody. And it's very clean. This coach bag, I picked it up. I didn't know it was coach. And then I looked it up to make sure it wasn't a fake. It's not, but it's their silver wrist, wristlet. So it's just like that. Um, I don't seek coach out. If I find one in good condition, I'll pick it up. It always brings attention to my closet. And I think I've sold every coach item I've ever had posted. Yeah, I mean, I think I could probably get a good 30, 25 for that. On the inside, it's just like with the card slots and everything. No, oh, somebody's gum wrapper. This was something I found and I was re-going through a purse bin for like the eighth time. This wasn't there before, but you guys know I can see Lily Pulitzer from across the room and this is just a Lily Pulitzer text sleeve. You hear how that zipper is? That's probably why the person gave it in. But you know the trick for that, WD-40. Put some WD-40 on there and it'll be good to go. A Cremo. Men's wool, chestnut brown, newsboy hat. So these are teaks. I barely want to touch them. <laughs> but I had, so these were sitting there. No one else wanted them because they're tore up. I don't know if you can see that. But I got two teaks shoes that were in similar condition back in September at the Goodwill outlet there. And I sold both of those within the week. I mean, one I think I sold for 25 and one for 20 but people will buy them in this condition. And they actually, you know what, if you take these over your sink or wash wherever you do your cleaning, you can clean these up well. Now this has a split actually to the material there. They'll sell. Okay, Cole Han. I picked these up just because they looked kind of unique, but they're an Oxford seven and a half. But they have a very kind of retro classic vibe to them and they barely have any wear on them at all, so. That was a definite pickup. I don't do poorly with Kohan at all. This is the last shoe. These are Easy Spirits, Easy Spirit shoes, but they're like a, a camel tone patent. Not a lot of wear. But yeah, that was actually all the shoes I got. So let's move on. The rest of the items I have are clothing. This I got right before, this was in my very last a dollar batch. It's a, I need to take it off the hanger because, so it's a Neiman Marcus women's 
size large turtleneck cashmere sweater cream. It was just sitting in one of the clothing bins. And it was, I think it was inside out, like someone had looked at it. And I could tell by looking myself that it was quality material. I didn't see a hole or anything. Any, oh God, now I see them. Yep, okay, I'm gonna have to darn that. I knew there was a reason it was there. I just saw that. See, that's, I overstayed at the bins in my sight. My attention to detail went down. So it's a Neiman Marcus cashmere sweater that needs darning. And because it's not like wool, that darning's probably going to show. I don't know. I had another, it wasn't, it was Bloomingdale's. Oh no, it was Lord & Taylor. It was a yellow cashmere sweater. I sold it last week for $5. I had it posted for quite some time for $30, but I actually went to do better photographs of it and I saw holes and I had it stored in a bin and I know there weren't holes before so I don't know what happened to the cashmere it turned on itself <laughs> I don't know anyway I just reposted it for five and it sold within a few days next item men's this was another thing when I was staying too long a men's Disney shirt it's size 40 42 42 44 large Disney so yeah then i got a handful of scarves this silver one is um charlotte russe this gray and white one is like an abstract rose print it's a long it, it's like one of those rayon ones no brand this is echo and this is express it's an infinity wrap which i usually don't pick up but it just kind of appealed to me rag it's size medium i think it's a men's it's a zip front in New York. It has hoodie. It's in good condition. Yeah, it's guys. It's definitely men's. So there's that. I actually have all the men's clothes in a group. I was going to show them at once, but just screwed that up. Uh, Roberta Roller Rabbit, size extra small. So here's my thing. I'm not picking up sizes small or extra small or petite or maternity, anything thing that just doesn't move fast which those sizes don't move fast for me but Roberta Roller Rabbit I'll make exceptions if it's a good brand this isn't a out of the ballpark brand but it definitely brings traffic to the closet and that was in all right condition I got a few kids items this was one of them it's just a tool trim bunny rabbit dress I think it's size 5t by the brand Lilt this is Talbot size 1X merino wool cable knit, cable knit olive green sweater. It's in good condition. I need to get at my pill shaver with it. But it's just an open cardigan with pockets. This is another kid's sweater, a kitty cat. So I pick up kid stuff. Like I don't sell a lot of it in my closet, but when it's just little cute things like this, yeah. This is Carter's size 4T. It's just got the kitty cat face on there. This is a wool piece. It's like kind of a boiled wool finish it's chico size two which is size large with um vegan fur trim it's a charcoal gray and the next piece is eileen fisher another open front size extra large black and white another chico's open front blazer red it has animal print lining but i thought the gold zippers on the pocket gave it a you know more put together look so i did grab that if it didn't have those gold zipper pockets, I would not have picked that up. But Chico's is one of the brands I actually have the most of in my closet. It's one of my bread and butter brands. And it does okay. Um, I won't really pick it up in smaller sizes anymore. This I barely want to touch because it's got, it's making me itch just looking at it. But I don't usually pick up the North Face. It's a woman's size small. It's like a gray or olive green depending on the lighting. But it's a nice weight. You see that kind of lining? It's a good warm zip front. I need that needs to go in the pile with the Vera Bradley stuff. Don't know that brand, Stowe. I looked it up before I did this video. I didn't find anything, but it's a shoulder padded, beautiful wool, kind of that long line, what is it, leg and look, log and look profile. It doesn't have a size tag, but I would kind of say it's an extra large women's. This is, I feel like I'm getting through this stuff kind of fast. We're actually almost done. This is Levi's, another children's jacket. But I picked it up just because it has like these bling buttons on it. But yeah, it's Levi's. It's cute. So 
This is Airy, which either, it always sells for me. It just takes a little while. This is a wool blend, kind of topish beige. It has that boiled wool effect. So, um, yeah, it's in season. Okay, now I'm getting to the men's stuff, and then I'm almost done. This is crazy. I thought this was going to take me like an hour. So this is size large, uh, Hollister. It's a men's zip front wool blend, or it might be all wool, but the, it has a patch on the shoulder that says surf, I think. Um, H HCO surf team, but that's nice and just absolutely in season. This I deem to be a man's. I told you, I can't get out of, I think in my last video, I said every time I go to the Savannah Goodwill outlet, I find a cream colored cable knit sweater. Well, here's, here's the one from this trip. It feels like a wool blend. It doesn't feel all the way wool. Yay, no holes. Um, it doesn't have any labeling at all, size, material, nothing. But I can tell by the cut of it that it's a man's. It's just, it's got that wide shoulder cut. So, yeah, it's a little itchy, though. It's definitely got some wool in there. This brand I've seen before. I did comps on this piece. They were all right. I think, like, 30, 25. Size extra, extra large. The brand is Southern Proper. But it's a sort of plaid pullover. It's lined, so you could wear it in the colder weather. But it's kind of like an outdoor preppy Southern brand, I think. So there was that. And then the last pieces I found, I found two men's wool, very vintage pants. And if you know anything about, like if these are used for a particular sport or they're just, I think they're just vintage. So I found one pair early on and then I found another pair when I was waiting for shoes. But they're button fly, they're wool. They've got that good vintage button fly. They've got the suspender hooks. This one is missing the button. I mean, they're not in perfect condition, but they're they're wool pants and they're size 36. They're not lined at the back. Um, this one is pinned, but it comes with these canvas suspenders. I'm gonna have to look, look them over and look them up, but that was the first pair. And then the second pair I got was the exact same size and style in a blue. So it's got the button fly. It's a good, like, they don't make wool like this anymore. The attached suspenders. This one has something through it. I mean, I don't know if these are used for some outdoor activity. They just give me outdoor vibes, but there's no brand or anything. But just really classic. I hope that somebody has a use for these because I could not pass them up. So that is my thrift haul. All $104.36 of it. I think I did great. I'm really excited to get the post coats posted. And then I just wanted to do a quick contrast because that was $104. So I have another four items that I bought at the regular Goodwill. And my total was $23.72. And that was like on December 2nd. I'm going to show you those items, what I got for $24 at the regular Goodwill versus those seven coats that I got at the outlet. So Lily Pulitzer Starbucks collab. Just a... a cold water a cold beverage tumbler that was $3.99 and this is lucky brand size small at the regular goodwill they had it priced at $6.99 it's like a shacket long line it's like that and it's it's in great condition um it's got side pockets so at the regular goodwill they charged me $6.99 for that and I paid $6.99 oh this is you know what this tahari this pink Peach Tahari shirt was actually part of the Goodwill. Um, I don't normally pick up Tahari, but this was size 1X. It's peach, it's linen. So that was actually part of my haul from yesterday. I just got my hangers misarranged. Then I got this Duluth Trading Company. This is just kind of like a neutral, olive green, relaxed fit dress in a great size. X, X, 1X, actually. It's in size 1X. I got it priced at $4.99, even though it was a dress. On the receipt, it said $4.99 women's shirts. So they they accidentally priced that as a shirt. So it was $4.99. And this was um, $6.99 as well. So this was fresh produce, new with tags. But this is super cute, striped midi dress, sleeveless, new with tags. Um, it retailed for $68, $65, and it's size large. But... 
yeah that would definitely sell so that's what i had um if you stayed this long thank you so much i appreciate it now i'm gonna go and start getting these things laundered and steamed and ready to post all right thanks guys bye hi me again i forgot one item i got this formal dress and i was so excited about it i had bought it into my photography studio and I'm getting ready to take my afternoon walk and I changed and I was walking out the door. I was like, oh shoot, I forgot to add that to my haul. So that was also part of the deal. I can't remember the brand, but size 16, it's just like a beautiful teal with poof sleeves, high low hem with a tool underneath. So yeah, that was it. But I'm going to go on my walk now. Bye. <laughs>